Hello and welcome to Lymphedema Book Club. Uh, my name is Kathleen Lisson. I'm a lymphedema therapist and our book is the book Stress Reduction for Lymphedema. We're going to cover chapter one in this video. So chapter one of stress reduction for lymphedema starts talking about oxidative stress. And this is something that we might not remember if uh, we weren't paying too close of attention in biology class in high school. Um, but basically oxidative stress occurs when there's an imbalance in between the production of reactive oxygen species, which is ROS, also known as free radicals, and the body's antioxidant defenses. So the things that the body does, the things that it encounters, uh, will produce reactive oxygen species, but our body should have antioxidant defenses against that. So the problem is, is when there's too much ROS and not enough antioxidant defenses. So what is uh, the specific importance for people with lymphedema? So German researchers studied the effects of uh, MLD on people with lymphedema. They took blood samples before and after they had an MLD session. And they found a difference between people who were cancer survivors and not diagnosed with lymphedema and people who were diagnosed with lymphedema. And the researchers described interrelationships between oxidative stress and fibrogenesis and recommended that reducing that ROS, reactive oxygen species formation, and strengthening antioxidant defense mechanisms should be a part of treating chronic lymphedema. In fact, the authors state that one can conclude that the higher the volume of lymphedema fluid, the higher the oxidative stress for the whole organism. And then the book comes into uh, sharing a few ways to uh, reduce oxidative stress. Um, and then later on in the chapter, we talk about um, the impacts of lymphedema on the person. And uh, this is a really great research uh, that I pulled up from uh, Sheila Ridner, um, a paper that she has in 2009. And it's, uh, we talk in this chapter about uh, the different reasons um, that people with lymphedema are having psychosocial stress. And that involves, includes the lack of lymphedema research lack of treatment resources, lack of insurance coverage for treatment and supplies, healthcare professionals who don't communicate an understanding of the seriousness of the patient's problem, and parental despair when lymphedema happens to a child. So this chapter is a really good chapter if um, you wanted to understand what the impact of psychosocial stress is on a person with lymphedema. If you feel like uh, you have a lymphedema diagnosis and you feel like you're no one outside of you really understands what you're going through, this is a really powerful chapter for you to read, to just understand that, that what you feel inside is true. Um, and if you have a loved one, someone in your family that has lymphedema, this would be a really great chapter for you to read to truly really start to understand the psychosocial stress impact of having a diagnosis of lymphedema, particularly in the United States of America. So it's a quick chapter, but a lot of really good information. Um, and I hope that you read the entire book and I will put more videos. Um, uh, we'll go chapter by chapter in the book.